This is the wall crunch, and we're just using the wall to help get our lower body into a fixed position so we don't cheat and bring those legs closer to our upper body when we're doing a regular crunch, which is pretty typical. So the legs are going to be up at a 90 degree angle, so feet are going to be flat against the wall, lower leg from the knee to the foot is going to be parallel to the ground, and then from the knee to the hip is going to be perpendicular to the ground. So again, nice 90 degree knee bend. Um, for the upper body, we're just going to cross the arms in front of the chest, and then the goal is going to be to bring those elbows up all the way to the leg. If you can't quite make it to the leg, that's okay. You can do partial range of motion there, really drive that lower back into the ground and squeeze those abs and do a little pause at the top, really squeeze those abs at the top and then go back into the start position in a slow and controlled fashion. So again, we're driving the back into the ground. We're trying to touch those elbows to our legs. The legs are staying still. And so we're forcing that upper body to come up and through that full range of motion. Also make sure to keep your head and neck in a neutral position and keep breathing. Exhale as you come up and deep breath in on the way back.